Mark Zuckerberg messed up twice on stage last week, but somehow, somehow, for the first time in his lizard person career, nobody cares. Why? Uh, because what he just launched is so mind-bendingly futuristic that it makes Black Mirror episodes look like Dora the Explorer. I hear you there asking me, but how? Okay, look at this, man. Would you believe me if I told you that while I'm talking to you right now, this guy is texting his ex saying I miss you at 2 a.m., doom scrolling through his crush's Instagram stories from 2019, and calculating the fastest route to McDonald's all while carrying enough groceries to feed a small village or one American family for a day. While in the ancient times, which was literally last week, this poor soul would have to put down those grocery bags, dig through his pockets, pull out his phone, fail face ID three times because he's wearing sunglasses, and then, get this, use both hands to do all these things. Both hands. That's like twice the effort. That's too many calories to burn for the average American. Yes, the Zuck is onto something big. And by big, I mean we might be just months away from yeeting our precious smartphones into the sunset. But here's the thing, it's kind of scary what might come with it. And I'm not talking about the price tag. Trust me bro, by the end of this video, you'll be side-eyeing every pair of Ray-Bans you see on the street. It is September 28, 2025, and you're watching Wee Weepedia. Massive shout out to this episode's sponsor, my parents. Thanks for providing free room and Wi-Fi. Yes, my lovely 5,000 subscribers still no real sponsors. I'm genuinely confused why Apple hasn't sponsored me yet after roasting Tim Cook in three consecutive videos. But, ugh, anyway, back to Zuckerberg and his magical spy glasses. I mean, display glasses that are about to make your iPhone look like a stone tablet. Let me break down what Zuckerberg cooked up in his definitely not evil headquarters. First off, these are normal, fashionable looking Ray-Bans. They've got this tiny 600 by 600 display that somehow pumps out 5,000 nits of brightness. That's brighter than staring directly at my future, which is perfect for when you're pretending to enjoy the outdoors while actually watching, uh, you know, cat videos at 90 hertz. Smooth as butter. The magic part? Only you can see this screen. So while your boss thinks you're maintaining professional eye contact during that performance review, you're actually reading How to Ask for a Raise on WikiHow. The camera? 12 megapixels of definitely not spying on you technology. But the real MVP here is this case. Oh, this beautiful collapsible case. It gives you 30 hours of battery life total and folds up like origami to fit perfectly in your pockets. You know, the pocket that's now empty because you just spent $799 on these bad boys? Now, uh, here's where things get spicy. The Meta Neural Band. A wristband that can literally read your mind, which is not terrifying at all. This thing detects micro-movements so subtle, you could be texting full conversations under the table during dinner, and your mom would just think you're, um, well, let's just say, she'd be concerned. The band is IPX7 water resistant too, which is perfect for when you're crying in the shower, realizing that Mark Zuckerberg can now literally read your muscle movements. Okay, okay, chill. I'm not gonna bore you with more specs and numbers like some Best Buy employee. I see that cursor hovering over the X button, but I know you won't do it, because deep down, you love me. I can hear you screaming at your screen right now. wee Weepedia! If I'm dropping $799 on fancy face glasses, what the hell will they actually do for me? Fair question, angry viewer. Let's start with messaging. With these glasses, you can read and reply to messages without ever pulling out your phone. Your girlfriend texts, we need to talk and boom, it pops up in your lens. No more sorry didn't see your message excuses. You saw it, you always see it. There's no escape. Navigation cards pop up in your vision, turning you into a confident looking tourist who's secretly following invisible breadcrumbs, while Meta knows exactly where you're going at all times. Comforting. Live captions are genuinely life changing. Imagine being at a loud bar and actually understanding what people are saying. Or better yet, when your dad's giving you his daily disappointment speech, you can read the subtitles while pretending to listen. Speaking of Mark's demo, if these glasses were truly smart, they'd subtitle his It's All Good as You're All Fired. All right, I think the Wi-Fi might be messed up. Sorry, back to you, Mark. It's all good. You know what? It's all good. Live translation turns you into a polyglot instantly. Menu in Italian? Boom. Translate it. 
someone yelling at you in French, now you know exactly what creative insults they're using. And music controls without touching anything to skip that song your ex ruined. And yes, you can watch reels, finally. You can consume brain rot content while maintaining eye contact during important conversations. Yes, honey, I'm listening to your work drama. Meta AI gives you live how-to prompts. This actually works, though based on the demo fails, maybe don't ask it how to cook. Uh, I think the Wi-Fi might be messed up. And here's the killer feature, though. These glasses can cure doom scrolling. You know when you just want to check one message and end up doom scrolling for five hours? Can't happen here. The display is designed for quick glances, not six hour binges. So, Weewepedia, if these glasses are so amazing, why are you being so dramatic? What's so scary about them? Stop clickbaiting us, you basement boy. Whoa. <laughs> why are you yelling at me through the screen? Guys, chill. Why are you so aggressive today? If you keep behaving like this, we're going to need couples therapy, and I definitely can't afford that on my YouTube earnings. But I'm not giving up on you. We've come too far. Now, let me tell you why I'm actually terrified of these things and why you should be too. Remember those first Ray-Ban stories? Some Harvard kids weaponized them into a stalker's wet dream. Look at a stranger and instantly pull up their name, address, social media, and their ex's new relationship status. And that was with the dumb version. Now we've got displays and AI. Imagine walking down the street and everyone's wearing these. It's facial recognition on steroids. And that neural band. You're literally letting Mark Zuckerberg monitor your nervous system. Every twitch, every micro movement, every anxious finger tap. They'll know when you're stressed, when you're lying, when you're excited. Oh, we noticed you get nervous during car commercials. Here's 47 Toyota ads. They could probably figure out your mental health status better than your therapist and offer metatherapy for $99 a month. And now imagine the normalization of surveillance. Today it's weird to wear camera glasses. Tomorrow, everyone's got them. Every conversation potentially recorded, every moment cataloged. And let's talk money. $7.99 for what's essentially a notification machine? Your iPhone does everything these do, plus, you know, actual phone things. But... Wee oui, wee, oui. it's hands free. Brother, for $7.99, these things better file my taxes and text my mom back. Oh, and good luck if you're in Apple's ecosystem. No iMessage integration because Tim Cook would rather die than collaborate. And could these replace smartphones? Uh, look, we're not there yet. The display is tiny and you can't type an angry Reddit comment with hand gestures. Yet. But think about it. We went from physical keyboards to touchscreens in like, five years. Mark my words, pun intended. This neural band is the future. Physical keyboards died, touchscreens are next. <laughs> alright, alright, we need to address the elephant in the room. You guys were extra aggressive today, which is saying something considering more than 98% of my viewers aren't subscribed to the channel. We really need to work on our relationship if we're ever going to hit that 10 million subscriber dream. So here's what I need from you. Hit that like button. Not for me, but for us. For our relationship. This has been Wee Weepedia, your favorite source of tech paranoia and parent-funded content. Trust me, bro, I'll see you in the next one. Assuming uh, the algorithm doesn't bury me first, or Mark doesn't send his robot army after me for this video. Either way, it's been real. <laughs>